Well, young people in New Orleans have been involved in some of the most high profile crimes in the city. Tonight, several schools are getting behind a plan to catch kids before they slip through the cracks. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Devin Bartolotta. We explored solutions to the crime problem in a WWL TV special presentation, Wounded City. Tonight, the conversation moves forward. National Night Out Against Crime couldn't come at a more crucial time for New Orleans. Eleanor Tabone shows us how some schools say they're stepping up to help. We understand that hurt people hurt people. New Orleans is labeled the murder capital of the nation. If there's a city that needs an increase in crime prevention awareness, it's here. It starts with us as a community. And every night, every day should be a day or a night out against crime. We cannot take this anymore. The Ninth Ward and New Orleans East have seen their fair share of crime. I grew up in this, this very neighborhood, playing on that basketball court. Mayor Cantrell, council members, law enforcement, and members of the judicial system all in attendance. People want to villainize our young people. Guys, our young people are watching us. And one thing that I say often is, if you want better young people, be a better human. NOLA Love is a citywide initiative getting young people to suggest ways to better their communities and reduce crime, all while providing academic, mental health, family and wellness services. We are empowering them to implement the change that they want in their community. Eight public schools will be a part. It's important that we act on what our youth is saying that they want to see because they are the future. So the solutions rise with the future and we have to implement and advocate and uplift their voices. If you don't use a holistic approach to attacking crime, you'll never solve a problem. You're putting band-aids on things that need major surgery. Former New Orleans police chief I Eddie Compass, who was on the force during the crime wave the in the 90s, says when he took office, he took a community body. approach to policing. We actually had a job fair in the Zaire Housing Development for all kids at risk, for kids who have been arrested, kids who have been involved in crime, been involved in drugs. He says today's youth are no different. I tell my son I love him every time I see him, and he's never gotten tired of him. He's 38 years old. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News.